What's going on, Port fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Jeremy Finlayson and the trade that's just been completed today by Port Adelaide with GWS Trading, a future third round pick for Jeremy Finlayson. A big deal, the first deal we have done for the 2021 trade period. I'm going to be talking about what Jeremy Finlayson can bring to Port Adelaide from next year. We'll pick up, it was in the end, by Tom Green, back to Whitfield. He's normally classy, the left foot kick, Finlayson waited for it, struck his man, can he bounce it through? Five goals, Finlayson. So, another tall forward comes to Port Adelaide to solidify maybe a spot in the 22. I'll tell you the details first of all, it's a three year deal for Jeremy Finlayson, the 25 year old turns 26 in February, so it'll take him to be 29 when he uh, finishes his first contract, he's played 90 games, uh, no, he's kicked 90 goals. He's played 66 games for GWS, making his debut back in 2017 against Geelong. He's a pretty good type. He's a he's a flexible player. He's played um, originally. He was drafted down back, but he can. He's obviously played forward for the majority of his, his career. He's kicked five goals and three games in his career as well, and kicked 44 goals in 2019 when they went all the way to a grand final and got pumped by Richmond. So. A fairly decent trade for Port Adelaide, I feel. I think it's a winner in terms of what the possibilities are with Jeremy. We've seen what's happened with Arazio Fantasia, and besides him getting a few injury niggles throughout the year, had a pretty damn good season with Port. And then, obviously, Alir Alir had a fantastic season, making the All-Australian team for Port Adelaide. And, um, you know, we, we picked him up for basically nothing for, from Sydney, and uh, everyone thought at the start of the year he was going to be a fringe player and ended up being... Uh, in the 22 and didn't leave the side throughout the whole season. So maybe Jeremy Finlayson can be that type as well. He's a very tall 196 centimetre forward. He's got a bit of attitude and a bit of uh, a bit of swagger about him as well as we've seen in previous games that he's played against Port and other players uh, and other games as well. So an opportunity for Jeremy at Port Adelaide. He's come home. He's a South Australian boy. I reckon he's a very um, talented kid. I do believe the trade in itself was kind of... Eh, Pointless, not well, actually. No, I take that back. It's not pointless. It's um, kind of an interesting trade. Why would he be someone to target? Maybe that spells drama for later down the track in the trade period. I uh, eat uh, Peter Laddams. It could be on his way. So to trade a future third round pick, it shows that we are heavily investing um, in now. I think. I think we're we're trying to invest in first rounders and also uh, you know picking up youth along the way, but also being able to keep the, the team at, a, at an age group that we can challenge for five to ten years. Yeah, another thing that uh, Jeremy Finlayson brings to Port Adelaide is depth. As I said, he can keep the likes of George Artis, Marshall and Dixon accountable in our best 22. And uh, without Pete Laddams as well, that could open the door for Finlayson to solidify a spot in our best 22 from the preseason onwards. I do feel like, you know, you've got... People that say Todd Marshall shouldn't be in the side and Mitch Georgiatis is still an upcoming forward and Dixon, well, he is our number one key forward and needs a helping hand. Um, and I think the, the the build that is Jeremy Finlayson and uh, the way I think he moves can be a, a valuable asset um, across the year. Whether or not he, as I said, uh, makes his own spot in the 22, that's to be seen. But it, it creates a lot more flexibility with players inside our um, our forward line, Todd Marshall, can become more of a wingman, um, can help out around being the swingman type like Justin Westhoff was that he became uh, when Kenny Hinckley first came to the club. That Westhoff was playing that swingman role on the wing, half forward, didn't kick as many goals, but he was able to play wherever was needed and did a very good job at it. So Todd Marshall, that door can open for him. Jeremy Finlayson could become a backman again um, and help out down there as a, as a tall defender. And as we know, got Alir as a tall um, defender. You've got Mackenzie, who's not that tall. Cleary's not that tall at 193 centimetres each, I think they are. And then you've got Tom Jonas, who's playing on tools, and he's only 190. Um, so there's options for Jeremy to swing around to different parts of the ground and, and help out. But I think overall, it, it's accountability. We've seen in the past that, you know, you take out Todd Marsh, you bring in Peter Adams, he's helping out Lysette in the ruck, but still not having a massive impact on the scoreboard, maybe he's kicking two or three goals every couple of games or so, but not doing as much damage on the scoreboard that we need when we're saying we're not playing a Todd Marshall, we're not playing a Mitch Georgiatis. And 
with, with Finlayson, he's a natural goal kicker. We've seen that. As I said, he's kicked five goals in three different games across his career, and that's something that we haven't seen a lot of at Port Adelaide recently. Um, you know, he's, he's a notable goal kicker, 44 goals, as I said, in 2019. And he's a great grab. He's a good mark, and he creates a presence that could lead away another defender from Charlie Dixon. And we know Dixon gets four, four men on him at a time in each contest. So Finlayson's staying a bit deeper um, and, and creating a one-on-one, -on -one, then Dixon could have another one-on-one, -on -one, and then you've got Todd Marshall up the ground and Mitch Georgiatis. I'm not saying we're going to play a four-man forward line, but if there's you know the, the mix of Georgiatis, Finlayson, Dixon, or Dixon, Finlayson, Marshall, um, or if, even if we get the injury and there's Finlayson and Georgiatis, there's, there's options there. So it's flexibility and accountability that I think if you look a lot deeper into this trade is what creates... Um, and makes this a, a smart decision to go after someone that creates depth in our side. So in that asset, I think it, it creates a massive positive for us in terms of the trade. It's, it's basically a nothing trade. You know, we're giving away a future third round pick, which you know, could be in the 50s or 60s. And um, you know, it, that's, that's for next year. And you know, you're going you're gonna to shop around maybe with Laddams. You could get a, a late first round or an early second rounder for him. I think we're pushing for that first rounder, which, you know, 23-year-old Ruckman Ford, a, a duo that like he is, um, don't come too often. So, you know, there's an opportunity there. I don't want to get rid of Laddams. I don't want to get rid of Sam Power Pepper. Um, but something's going to have to give. And maybe it could be Tom Cleary. And I don't want to get rid of him either. I don't want to get rid of any of these players. Um, but, you know, these are the, the decisions you have to make. And if they benefit our side going into next year, then we'll have to wait and see. But... This Finlayson trade on its own, very good on merit, creates a lot of depth, as I said. I think it's a massive tick for Port for this one, um, and those the, just for the reasons I've just said, they justify those. And um, I'm keen to see what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know about what you feel of Jer uh, Jeremy Finlayson coming to Port Adelaide. I think it's a, um, you know, f I, as well. I think the other thing too, to have this trade early done in the trade period. Very weird. Usually, Port are the ones that get their trades done later in the period. The you know the second to last day, last day type uh, operators, and to get this done so early on and so quickly. Credit to GWS. Credit to Port Adelaide for just doing a very well handled deal. And you know Jason Cripps once again getting the job done with Chris Davies over there in the trade period. Uh, a little bit of a background as well. As I said, on Jeremy Finlayson, he's a South Australian boy. I don't know. One other thing that I found pretty good. Is a pick 85 in the 2014 draft. Pick 85 is late. Like I'm talking, that's 10.30 at night on the Thursday night that they host the draft. Everyone's switched off. Everyone's saying we're you know, not going to use our picks. And GWS have gone, we're going to take Jeremy Finlayson. And here we are picking up Jeremy Finlayson for a future third round pick. So he has a bit of value there. He's an absolute steal in terms of he's a ready-made forward. Whether or not he makes uh, the most of his opportunity at Port Adelaide is to be seen, but for now, based on um, merit and what the draft and what the trade is, well done Port Adelaide, well done Jeremy Finlayson. I can't wait to see what he can bring at Port, whether it's at the Magpies, whether it's with Port Adelaide in the AFL. Either way, it's going to be great to see. Well, thank you for watching this uh, this special video for Jeremy Finlayson. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this trade. And I look forward to seeing you all in a video very, very soon. I've delayed a video again, by the way. It's supposed to be the best recruits of 2021 since we're in the draft. And now, it's going to be waiting you know, in the files. You know, just sitting there because things keep popping up. Anyway, hope you're enjoying the content. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Plenty more Port Adelaide and AFL content. Check out Footy Live, the Sports Mate app. Um, I was on there for the trade period talking all things Port Adelaide and you'll see that across all my social media. So download the app, listen in live on their Trade Centre Radio. It's a very, very good um, listen and um, yeah, get around the boys because they are doing a sensational job. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. My name is Anthony and as always, come there.